All right, everybody. So check this out. Brand new kayak, autopilot 120 just arrived. Still in the packaging. We're gonna get it unpacked here soon, do a little unboxing. The other thing we're gonna do is start to get this thing ready for our 2024 kayak tournament fishing season. Um, so we're gonna get it all rigged up. We're gonna put on lights. I've got a fish finder, a Garmin 73 SV, and then we're gonna get it all rigged up. So I'm gonna walk you guys through step by step what we're gonna do, put on the lights, yak power unit, uh, 360 light, nav lights, you name it. We've got a lot of rigging up to do over the next few weeks. So stay tuned guys. Good morning, folks. It's a nice, cool fall morning, and we're gonna be replacing these uh, factory rails right here. So you can see those, um, they're good, decent quality, but they're a little bit flimsy sometimes, and uh, things have a tendency to kind of wobble around in them. And so we're gonna take these off from the factory. So we're gonna be upgrading those to something by a company called Pacific Yak Angler and these are metal. I think they're aluminum and then they've got a starboard backing and so this is going to be a lot more stable and um, we'll link everything in the description. There's a video where they did a test to see the strength of these things. It's pretty impressive and so I'll link that as well. All right and our first step is going to be taking off these old screws here. We'll save them because we're going to reuse those. All right, <clears throat> so we've got our old track rail off and we're just gonna clean this up a little bit. You can see what I'm doing here, guys. If you look at this, see there's a lot of excess plastic here. We're just gonna trim that and cut that off and kind of smooth that. Make sure it's flat underneath the gear trail. All right, so that looks pretty good, nice and flat. And now we're gonna put down our starboard here, and then the track. So, take a look at the difference. We've got this really nice metal upgrade factory plastic here. I think I'm gonna be really happy with this. There you have it, folks. We've got our nice new metal track rails installed. Look how awesome that looks. So one of the things I noticed as I was sitting in the kayak for a moment, just trying to get kind of the ergonomics going was that if I mounted the fish finder up here on the rail. It's gonna be quite a bit far forward from the seat and from my viewing distance. And so I don't think I'm gonna mount the fish finder up here. Uh, what I did was on the Navarre kayak accessories site, I did find a handle mount here. And this is exactly for uh, mounting a fish finder a lot closer to your seat. And so that way I'm gonna be able to see it. I'm gonna be able to hit the touch screen from right where I'm sitting and I won't have to readjust anything. And so that's gonna be a huge uh, game changer there. Uh, so I did go ahead and install this mount. It fits right in the standard place where your handle does. The fish finder will just kind of sit right here, angled slightly towards me, and it'll be really low profile to the boat, and I won't have to uh, worry about it. All right, folks, today we're gonna work on, I think we're gonna work on the fish finder, get the uh, transducer installed, so I'll show you how that works on the autopilot. And we to do that, we've got uh, this, Yak Hobby transducer mount right here, and it's a direct fit drop in for the Autopilot 120. All right, folks. So here we are, we're gonna install the transducer. And I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little uh, scupper hole right here. 
that's where the wire for the transducer is going to go through. We're going to use we're going to use this uh, mount right here, and um, we're going to actually take that mount off and use this mount from the Axe Hobby. All right, so that's on there nice and snug. What's nice about this is it's got this little channel here for the wire to come through, so no wires are getting pinched. It's a nice, clean way to run that wire. So you can see we've got it mounted here under the uh, kayak. And all we gotta do is take the transducer wire and run it right up through the scup roll. And here's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna run it right behind this plate right here and right into this little uh, wire port that Old Town has graciously given us for this purpose. All right, so here you can see that we've got the wire running through this little channel right behind the plate for the motor. And we're gonna pull that through really tight and then we'll move on to the next step of routing the wire through the hole. All right guys, so now that I have my fish finder transducer wire uh, coming through the bottom scupper hole and in up through the uh, little access port here, we are going to actually run it inside and run it all the way through back to the fish finder, which is back here. So I'm going to need to drill a hole right here. That'll give me a perfect place to run the wires to the back of this. Okay, and for this we're going to use the Yak Attack through hole wiring kit. This here, guys, can make life really easy. It's a Klein Tools uh, fish tape, and so this will help to run the wire through this hole and into the where we need it in the kayak. I'm gonna fish this all the way up. There it is. All right, and we've put some tape on there just to hold it, and we're gonna pull fish tape through. We'll see how this works to feed the wire to the other side. There it is. Here we go, guys. Nice professional looking install there. Hopefully it works. All right, the moment of truth. We're gonna power it on and see what happens. Well, that's a good sign. All right, folks, we're gonna be working on installing these power ports. So these, this is from the Yak Power system, and they've got these nice little power ports that you can plug your accessories into. And I'd like to put one on either side of the kayak back here so that I can plug my 360 light and my camera uh, on the back here. So we're going to kind of line up here where we want to install these, drill them, and uh, route the wire through the hole. Oh. can see that there's plenty of clearance behind, so it looks good. All right, guys. Um, now we're gonna put on the uh, nav lights. We've got these Yak Power um, nav lights here. And so these are gonna go right on the front here. And um, we've got our cabling that we're gonna, again, run through the hole. Okay, so the way these work is they all, there's two lines, two sides, obviously, and then they come to this little splitter cable here, and that just comes off like this, if you can pull these out. Then at the end, you've got these connectors here, um, where lights actually plug in, and these are what goes in the hole, and these here unscrews. 
one of the things I have to decide is how far forward do I want my nav lights. And I'm thinking I might have them pretty far forward, about an inch below this little seam line right here. We we'll want to make sure that there's clearance wherever we end up drilling for that. Alright guys, I just drilled a hole and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my uh, wire right through that hole. Okay, and then what we're going to be able to do is just screw on the little through hole connector. We'll do the same on the other side. There we go. Alright. We're going to seal the threads with a little bit of uh, marine sealant, Fast Secure 5200. Now, we're going to just kind of test fit this here. And there's one screw at the very end. All right, folks, to test the system, we're going to start to connect up our Yak Power 5 Circuit Wireless Digital Switching System. Here's the little remote that comes with the Yak Power. In order to use this, uh, you have to open it up in the back. There's a little plastic separator that you got to pull out from behind each battery. There's two little button batteries in there, so that's a good item for us to keep in a dry bag or something in case we're out on the water. Of course, there is the uh, phone app as a backup. All right, guys, I want to show you a little trick. Right now, I've got my multimeter hooked up, and I'll show you how I've connected it. I have it on my highest DC amp setting. And over here, look at how I've got this connected. So I've got my Yak power system connected with black to black, so I kind of reversed my wires here. And then what I did was I just took these alligator clips going to my multimeter, one in here and then one on the terminal that normally we go in this red side. So that basically puts an ammeter in line in the circuit. And now watch what happens. So I come over here and I can turn on my unit and let's say I turn on my bow lights. Watch what happens. Boom. So you can see those are drawing a pretty significant amount of current there. If I want to turn on my stern light. There we go. Got some more current flowing. So this is how you can uh, easily gauge how much current your system's drawing and that way you know how big of a battery you uh, need and how long it's going to last you uh, by basically looking at the amp hour. So right now we're pulling 1.14 amps so if you leave these items on right now as they are um, then you're going to basically be pulling uh, 1.14 uh, amp hours every hour so that's how you can divide uh, basically your capacity of your battery. Make sure you've got enough to last you through the day. So let me show you what this looks like when it's all working together. So in my little hatch here, I've got batteries and I put, you can't see it, but I put my Yak Power head unit back in here and secured it. And all you got to do is uh, turn it on and off. I've got my bow lights on B, so watch this. So they're on. And now they're off and back on. And so check that out, guys. Awesome. And then uh, back here, I've got my 360 light set up. This is the Burley Pro Orb 360. The super white, bright light. And that's hardwired into my power port back here. Had to do a little bit of cable modification here to make that all work. Nothing you can't do pretty e easily. And then on this side I've got a Akatak boomstick for a camera and that is going to also be hardwired in through this power port right there so I can have all day power going to my camera. Again, the little homemade wiring here and that is connected to this is a voltage converter, 12 volts to 12 volts to 5 volts DC, and that's going to give me all day power on this amazing setup. So that's how you do it, guys.
Well, there you have it, folks. We've uh, completed our kayak setup. Uh, on our next video, I'm going to do a full walkthrough video, kind of show you everything that's on this Autopilot 120 and how we've rigged it out for the 2024 season. And then we're going to uh, get out on the water and do an on-the-water test video, uh, kind of show you how we do some, uh, just calibrate everything, set up everything out on the water. So stay tuned.